demo and today I'll be showing you how to build a particle accelerator. So here's the recipe for the accelerator itself. Then you're gonna need a lot of uh, electromagnets, the atomic electromagnets. Here's the recipe how to make those. And also if you'd like you can make some electromagnetic glass and use it on the side so that way you can see the particle moving. So here you can see two particle accelerators, one is smaller and one is bigger. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to make it uh, larger than uh, 50 to 60 blocks in diameter because if, it's, if you make it smaller then the particle whenever it's uh, created it accelerates and it loses around 2-3% of its velocity in corner so basically if it's too small it's going to be losing more than gaining and uh, antimatter will never be created. Oh, and yeah, I forgot to mention that the uh, accelerators are used for, to create antimatter, salts, and uh, dark matter. So, basically, you want to make it uh, larger than 50 blocks in diameter. 50 blocks across. Um, here's an example how you start building it. You put the particle accelerator in one corner, it doesn't matter which corner you put, just make sure you place it like this, and also make sure it says here in, at the status, it says idle. If it doesn't say idle, if it says that it's facing the wrong uh, direction or something, just break it and place it again, but face different direction. So basically this is how you start. <coughs> start. You, you don't have to use these uh, electromagnet glass blocks, you can use solid ones, and yeah that's pretty much it they're just f for the looks so you can see the particle moving so once you created the ring like this oh and also make sure that uh, once you if you build a the a larger particle accelerator like this one make sure your chunks are loaded because if the particle reaches a chunk that is not loaded it's gonna explode and basically destroy your accelerator not the whole thing but uh, around, I don't know, a few blocks. It's gonna destroy a few blocks of electromagnets. And you can check if the chunk is loaded by pressing F9 and multiple times till you see this pattern and you look up. So if the chunk is red, that means it's loaded. And then you press F9 a couple of times again to get uh, those lines removed from your, from your screen. So what you're gonna wanna do is Cover it, place some materials inside it. Uh, it's best just to use dirt because it's the cheapest. And make sure you place uh, some empty cells in the second slot. And here's how to make empty cells 14 and one glass in the middle. And you're also gonna need a lever or some kind of redstone signal generator for the particle accelerate accelerator. Uh, now the thing is, in single player, a lot of players have complained that uh, whenever the particle accelerator is powered on, it crashes their game. S same thing happened to me in this world. So to avoid that, you can create a miscraft age, another world, and place it there. And also make sure it's chunk loaded. I haven't tested that, but I heard from people that it works. It prevents the game from crashing. So basically you can have it somewhere else in another world, automate it, and yeah, make sure it's loaded. Now, the only way for me to show you how it works is to go on my server and show you there. Because here, like I said, in single player, for me, it crashes as well. So we're going to go there and take a look. So here we are now on the server in my base and I'm gonna go power the accelerators now so that I can show you how they work here you can see that the particle has been created and I'm gonna have to lower the sound because they're pretty loud okay that didn't help alright so now Pay attention to the velocity. Whenever it reaches, uh, when it whenever it gets to a corner, it reduces it reduces the velocity by one or two percent. Also, 
Um, here you can see that there's already some antimatter stored in the particle accelerator. So when a, whenever it reaches 125 milligrams, it's gonna create one of uh, the antimatter anti cells. But if, before that, it doesn't create anything. So don't worry, your accelerator works fine. You just have to wait in, in, until it gets to 125 milligrams, and then it's gonna create that cell. So once you have, let's say, uh, I believe eight antimatter uh, cells, of 125 milligrams, you can combine them into a one gram antimatter cell in the crafting table. So now at 85 velocity, 85% velocity, you can see that they're moving pretty fast. And once they reach 100%, they're gonna explode and create antimatter. So 92, 93, 94. At uh, above 90%, you're gonna notice that it's uh, losing a lot of velocity in corners, and that is because of the size of the accelerator. If I made it larger, then this wouldn't happen, and, and I was I would save on electricity. And now at 100, you can see that it created antimatter 114, and it also took one dirt for the next particle. Uh, this, these ones are automated, so the export bus is feeding the dirt and the cells inside the accelerator. And here I have them powered on and off remotely, as you could see in the base at the start. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something new. Also, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Yeah.